you first meet or met a person, in this case, a narcissist, that you did not know was a narcissist, there are always red flags. God gave us the ability. It's called common sense. It's called conscience. It's called gut. Your inner man speaking to you. And there were red flags, honey, right straight from the door. And now she knows. I instantly know to get away, run right now. Just recently happened to me. And I'm so proud of myself because I noticed the signs. I was like, <laughs> oh, you think you you think you gonna snare me? Not today or any other day. So the red flags that I'm speaking about, which are right in your face. So for instance, met a female. You meet a female and you start talking, you know, you may have children in common. Oh, you got six? I got six kids too. Oh my God, you got eight grandchildren? I got eight grandchildren. All Joe, what the kids call it, all Joe familiar, straight off the bat. Leaving no room for, you know, privacy, boundaries they just cross the boundaries and they begin saying oh they want to give you something right off the bat don't even know you it can be something expensive it could be something that they're wearing now mind you i've done that but with distant cousins when i go down south and they say girl i like that coat you wearing i so like to have a jacket like that and i know that they're sincere about it so upon me leaving, when I get ready to leave, I leave it upstairs on, on, on their bed and with the note or, you know, the bracelet or ring or whatever, take it off and give it to them. And they just be so grateful. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just met you the same day, the same hour. Not, not even the same 15 minutes. Here, take this. You'll be helping me out. I don't need no more of this. I got a whole lot of this. Hey, girl, let me give you my triple A. Your car broke down. Did you say, oh, my car broke down. And um, it's sitting so and so and so. Oh, girl, come on. Let's go get your car. You don't even know this person. But our airheads just jump right on up. And be like, shoot, I need this. <laughs> I don't care if I just met this person or not. Let me go. But that's a sign right there. Instantly giving. Like when you meet a man. And he wants to buy the child he never even met. He know you has a daughter. See, they learn all the information about you. And then you be like, how you know that? Because you done told them all, they, all your business and they ain't told you nothing. They don't tell you absolutely nothing, okay? They just listen to you talk, talk, talk. That's another sign. When they just talking, telling all, when you're talking, telling all your business and you're noticing they're not even sharing anything with you. They're not sharing a diddly squat with you. But what they do, something's burning. Ugh. Ooh, something's burning. But. They're listening to you. They're probably not even nodding. And if they're nodding, they're making it seem like they're listening and they care. They just, they're like a devil rub, rubbing their hands together. Tell me all. Tell it all. And we're telling all of our business. So that's how they know. So back to the, the red flags, which that's one of them. They... Listen to all you tell your business. They don't share none of your business. A man, this is a big red flag with somebody went on and married the man. This is a true story. Went on and married the man instantly. First of all, okay, so he just met her. I mean, just met her. Days. And she said, you know, they sharing, well, he, she sharing her information. 
And she said, yeah, I got a daughter. He goes and buy a pair of diamond earrings for the baby, for the, for the little girl, the baby girl. That's a no-no. First of all, that's scary to me. You trying to get next to my child, that's what I'm thinking. You're not trying to win my heart. You're not trying to win my heart. You're not. In my mind, that's a no-no. That was the red flag. And then after he devoured her so, so bad. Called himself a minister, too. Mm-hmm. He devoured her, disrespected her in the worst kind of way in front of the whole congregation. Everybody didn't know her because everybody thought, oh, the perfect family, perfect marriage, da da da, da. She even had a son by him. Come to find and turned the son again, turned the son against her. But anyway, those are signs when somebody is 100% trying to give you, give you, and they don't try, they do. They give it to you. They give you stuff that you wouldn't believe a stranger is giving you. Oh my goodness. And won't take no for an answer. Be real aggressive, but in a cute, sweet way. Those are signs. Red flag signs. Just like when you see fire, your gut instantly tells you, you know not to touch this. You already know not to touch it. And that's how you should be when you meet. Well, let me speak for me. When I meet anybody, I let them run their mouth. Right? I get the conversation started and then I shut up. And get a, a person that's giving, 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 giving. Oh, yeah. You can have it. And you, I'm looking like I don't even know this person. Oh, let me, let me take you home. They want to know where you live at. They want to know all of your business. Yes, they do. They want to know all of your business. Mm-hmm. Let me just hear. This black car got a dent on the side. I don't know why I keep seeing this vehicle. I'll share that story another time. But I keep seeing this vehicle. But anyway, just like a fire being lit stove on and the oven is open you know not to touch it learn not to touch a narcissist with those red flags I know it was all over the place with this but hopefully you got the message I love you